pleasant enough that the remains loaded up and my cargo. And I don't appreciate you making this situation even worse. I need two forms of government-issued identifications. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Jerry seems to be taking a personal Shh, shh, shh. Hold on. No. More signing? It's a gun. Mr. Morgan. JC Poo. I know you're here. Why don't you come out for a chat? <sighs> don't be so tedious, Jason. I'm sure this good man wants to go home to his family, right? I mean, after all, Christmas is around the corner. And actually, I need to be on my way. Jason. Jason. to see you. I trust your time in Mexico was as good as mine. But I have to admit that I expected you to be more respectful of the dead, seeing all the fuss you made after the loss of your father. So can't you allow me to finish this little transition in peace? So where do you think Abby wants to go on our date? Well, I don't know. Maybe you want to just kind of keep it simple. Yeah. I was thinking uh, that steakhouse by the river, but Dante likes his Italian place over on 7th, and he knows his Italian food pretty well, so... Wait, does she like Italian? Nah, I don't know. Everyone likes Italian, yeah? Yeah. yeah. When I asked her out, I asked her if she wanted to go to the movies, too, and... Mm -hmm. But we could maybe go, like, ice skating. Or something. Does she, does, she, does she know how to ice skate? I, Do you have any ideas? I don't know. No. Pro probably, though. Well, then, we'll just do uh, dinner ice skating and then maybe some uh, coffee at the cafe. But I don't know about that. Was it too much? What's, what's wrong? No, Michael. I don't know. Maybe it's not such a great idea that you go out with Abby. You don't want to introduce no, me to I understand that, please, and, and, and don't misunderstand this. I mean, you are great, and Abby's great, and I think you would probably be great together, but, like, I'm, I'm kind of worried. What if another guy recognizes Abby on the street? What if, what if somebody tries to start something? I mean, what if you go off like you did before? Why are you after Brenda? <laughs> the lovely Brenda. What has she done to you? Are you one of the fallen, Jason? Like my brother? Like Sonny? Like poor Alexander? Why are you trying to hurt her? <laughs> You're fools, all of you. You're like sailors enticed by the siren's song. You follow. You'll pay any price to be with Brenda. And by the time you realize you're drowning, it's too late. Is someone paying you, Jerry? Or is this just another job like the Metro Court? I don't know. Are you on a job, Jason? No. No, I think not. You're gone like all the rest. You're refusing to see that Brenda is far more lethal in a way than you and I. Look at the damage she's done. Look at the lives she's destroyed. Look at where you are, Jason, because of Brenda. So this is personal. You seem so concerned. That's, a, that's an extraordinary amount of emotion coming from you. My proof, I'm afraid, that you're caught up in the whole Brenda mystique. Like everyone else. And it's deadly. No one, no man, has survived Brenda and walked away unscathed. Which is why I'm here. You see, someone has to stop her. Why does it have to be you? so full of questions, isn't he, tonight? Hmm. But you know what? Precious few about your well-being. Have you noticed? He has no reason to hurt this guy. My objective is to make sure that poor Alexander rests in peace. What did Brenda do to you? You're awfully chatty tonight, aren't you? Isn't he? And he can't seem to sit still. Hmm. I wonder why. I've enjoyed our little reunion. You may not be the brightest adversary, but you certainly are the hardest to kill. And you know what? I appreciate
appreciate your help as well. Thank you so much. I thought about how I lost it when that guy was disrespecting Abby, but if, if that happens again, I'll, I'll, I'll handle it. Better. Okay, I get it, but wouldn't it be better to just avoid that kind of situation? That's what Jason says. Well, look, maybe Jason's right. Abby doesn't expect me to be someone I'm not. I'm comfortable with her. And even though I messed up, she still wants to be friends with me, so I, I, what's so wrong about that? I don't know. Maybe maybe nothing. It's just that you are on probation and, and you're getting your life back together. I don't want you to make things more complicated than they already are. I'm with Abby. I don't have to worry about as much stuff. She doesn't judge me. She, she accepts me for who I am. There's no, there's no hassle, no judgments. Michael, you, you and Abby haven't even been out on a real date yet. doesn't matter. We still like each other. And she has nothing to do with my family or the garbage that happened in my life. We talk about the future. Even if it's two minutes in the future. When I'm with Abby, I forget how really messed up I really am. Pressure's 90 over 60. Keep the pressure on her. Let's go. Spinelli, you got the van up on the screen right now? Okay, I, I think he's heading north. Access every camera along the way Dante just put out an APB. We're setting up roadblocks on all major routes. Okay, look, Alexander's body's in the back of that van. If he is Jerry's son, that makes him even more dangerous. Got it. So lucky cat death. Hang on a sec. Hey, Lucky. Yeah. Get to Adams Road near the county line. I just I got a feeling Jerry's gonna double back and go that way. Why why do you think that? That's the way I would go. It was just as I expected. They were using Alexander's body as bait. It wasn't enough for Brenda to have the boy kill her legion of protectors had to use him again, even in death. All right, I'll be at the pier soon. Have the boat ready. There is zero margin for error. Tonight is my last chance to bring Alexander home where he belongs. Spinelli like can't find any son of Jerry. All right, well, then we'll find him. I think he's going to try to get out of the country. Even with what could be his son's remains? Well, we can't assume that Alexander is Jerry's son, not yet. Right, right but well, why, why else would he show up at the hospital in person? I don't know. All I know for sure is that Jerry always has an agenda and he's always about being in control, so I don't think he's going to risk staying in Port Charles, so we got to get to him before he gets out of the country. Thank you. Sam? Hey. Hey, thanks for meeting me. Um, okay. Uh, what do you mean? Okay, Michael told me you introduced him to Abby Haver. How well do you know her? Uh, kind of, sort of. How'd you meet her? On a case. What kind of case? Listen, Carly, Abby and, and, and Michael, they, they hit it off. Abby's a good person. The rest is really none of my business. Okay, I want Michael hanging out with kids his own age. And that's not gonna happen if he's hanging out with Abby. I need you to talk to Abby and have her stay away from Michael, please. Wait, 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 there he is up ahead. Yeah. Yeah, there's a cargo van coming your way. It's Jerry, we're right behind him. There's a roadblock. Be careful. My purchase, is Alexander. I, I, I'm not going to tell Abby to stay away from Michael, and neither should you. I don't need you to tell me how to deal with my child. Michael is not a child. He hasn't been for a very long time. I want Michael to hang out with kids his own age. Carly, Michael says the kids his own age are afraid of him. Michael is not going to have the, the life that you planned. And, and if you can't accept that, if you try to control that, you're going to lose him. Take at least a day to pull Jerry's van out of that ravine. What's left of it? Not that he's going anywhere. No one survived that crash. Jerry's survived a lot. Well, we gotta wait for the paperwork, but 
If he did not survive that, then maybe this whole thing is over. Well, then what? What, do we just tell Brenda and Siobhan that everything's okay? That they're safe? I mean, we don't even know for sure that, that Jerry was actually the Balkan. 